We're going to be tasting now um, another couple of wines from 2007, the Castiglione, uh, the Borolo, and the Barbaresco Masseria. And there are a lot of people that are confused, uh, Luca, about the difference between Barolo and Barbaresco. They come from the same grape, Nebbiolo, but they do have some different profiles sometimes, don't they? Different expression. Sì, uh, Barolo and Barbaresco is like uh, two brothers with the same mother. The same mother is the Nebbiolo grape. <laughs> Uh, but uh, the region where are planted are a uh, different region. Not so far from one to the other, very close to each other, but uh, the, the quality of the soil and the humidity, the rain are very different. Uh, Barbaresco is a little bit more sandy, uh, even less uh, humid than the Barolo, uh, less rain and less amount of millimeters of rain. Mm -hmm. uh, and Barolo uh, is a little bit more humid, and uh, also the more uh, different uh, soil. Uh, for this reason, an example, the wine, they are uh, many think in common, but uh, uh, in the Italian tradition, we say that the Barolo is the king of the vine, the wine, uh, because it's very masculine, more powerful, more intense, and Barbaresco is considered the queen of uh, the, the wine because he's uh, always very elegant, very powerful as the Barolo, but uh, more, uh, with much more elegance uh, and more finesse than uh, the Barolo. So the, the 2007 Castiglione, uh, that, that, the 2007 was a fantastic vintage. Yeah. I, I've heard you say before, you think it may be one of the best you've ever seen. Si. And, the, and that was expressed in the, in the Castiglione, uh, 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 I take it wine as, as well. Um, this is a blend of three vineyards, is that right? Si, um, some more. Uh, basically, we have uh, uh, 15 Grand Cru vineyards. Uh, with three of them, uh, we make uh, the single vineyard Cru that we are going to try later. Uh, then we have one wine, a Reserva, Lero. Uh, plus, uh, we have other 11 Grand Cru vineyards and all vinificated and aged separately. Uh, then after three years of aging in cask, uh, as we saw down below, uh, we select uh, the one or the five or the six or the three, depends on the vintages, uh, the one that they show much more complexity, more agility, and we blend uh, to make the Barolo Castillo. Okay, the Barbaresco uh, Masseria, that's single vineyard? This is a single vineyard, one single vineyard based in Barbaresco, we only have uh, Okay. Well, why don't we go ahead and try the, the Castiglione first? Check. 2007, again, just a, a tremendous, tremendous vintage for, for everybody up here. Great growing, um, climate conditions here. See, 2007 was a really very special vintage because it uh, was very unusual. Uh, we had very early pot break, like this year. Uh, plus, uh, uh, the growing season was very, very long because uh, the, uh, was very, uh, very early pub break and very late harvest. Because very long growing season. See, si, see, si, see. Si. Uh, we have to think that in the month of August, uh, mid of August, in the mountain all around uh, here on the Alps, uh, we had a lot of uh, snow and the temperature fell down, uh, was very cold. And uh, so the night they were very cold. And it was the perfect growing condition for the viola that likes a big difference between night and day of temperature. Whereas this year, 2011, you've had tremendous heat, so it just shows that every vintage in this region can be very different. <laughs> ah, see, it's yes, very, very different, you know, and uh, uh, you know, this is uh, the good also of uh, we never get boring making wine. Never, <laughs> never. <laughs> because then we are, uh, it's something new. New challenges. Well, here's the 2007 Castiglione, and let's take a sip. Beautiful nose, just beautiful balance of, of red fruit, and this is just lovely brown. That's just that's just wonderful. What tremendous! You know the, the fruit in this is just very expressive. It just it just jumps out of the glass. Um, wonderful acidity, um, very round tannins. The tannins are there, but they're not too chewy. They're not too big. They're just right. Um, a great integration of all the elements of this wine. Um, which I take it is very reflective of how wonderful the, the 2007 growing season yes. was, but also your talent as a winemaker. <laughs> See, but uh, the biggest worker was uh, in the vineyards, you know. I think a winemaker, first, uh, 
uh, needs and must be a wine grower, then he's a winemaker. And so we are lucky because uh, we have a fantastic land, uh, we have uh, some of the most beautiful uh, uh, famous land of the region, and so it's easy to make wine from this thing. Yeah, well, again, okay, this is just a tremendous effort. Flowers, violet, violets on there, just, just beautiful bouquet of aromas and great fruits. And, and again, it, it's a long finish, but it's a gentle finish. It's not very chewy and big on, on your gum or lips. Uh, this is just a, a wine that, that you, you want lots of for the future. It's just beautiful. So why don't we go now to the, the, the Barbera uh, Masseria. This is a single vineyard wine. Yes, Barbaresco Masseria, 2007. Single vineyard, Barbaresco. Beautiful, beautiful. But a different personality than, than, the, than the Barolo, absolutely. Again, great fruit, um, almost like a almost like a juicy fruit that, come, that comes out of the Barbaresco. This this is a, this yeah, is delicious. Also more ethereal, uh, more uh, uh, nose more refined. Yeah. Uh, yes. 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 That has some muscle, that has some, some tannins to it. Delicious. Very, very, very profound tannins. You were saying that this could be very muscular sometime. Um, and it is. Great tannins, very juicy fruit. It's a great balance of, of, of the two between the, the tannins, the fruit, nice acidity. But this, somewhat like the Barolo, says to me it's going to age for a long, long time. It, it has muscle to it, it has structure to it, beautiful fruit, and again, just Great effort to you. Just congratulations. <laughs> fabulous, fabulous. Congratulations. Congratulations.